Did my son send you? Hi, Karen. Yeah, he did. Pay your bail and to get you to a 9 a.m. meeting. So come on. If we leave now, we'll make it in time. I'm not going to any stupid meeting. I, just, I had a little too much wine. I got sleepy behind the wheel. Nope. You drove your car into a vacant playground, and if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be getting out of here at all. You think you know any fucking thing about me? <laughs> You're a kid. So my stepdad gave me my first beer when I was nine years old, and then, as, as us addicts do, I graduated on the harder stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't know about you, Karen, but I, I got tired pretty quick. Okay, the world, it became numb. I stopped being curious. I don't need to tell you how bad it got for me because I can see it right in your eyes. This pain, it knows pain. And as long as I didn't have to feel the sharpness of this world, I didn't care if I was sleeping in a gutter, a, s a cell, or dead. I'm nowhere near the gutter. Yeah, but addiction is like a hairline fracture. It's a scar in your bones that will never fully heal. And one wrong step can make it all fall apart. You have been in the gutter for years. Do you want to stay here or do you want help out? Because I'm offering. 